to get always on display to work again on iPhone 15 and 14 Pro. Check if always on display is turned on. Go to your device settings. Tap on display and brightness. Make sure the always on option is enabled. If it is, re-enable the option. Update the iOS. Open the iPhone settings app. Go to general settings and select software update. Wait while the system searches for an update. If available, update the iOS. Turn off the low power mode. Open the settings app on your device. Go to battery settings. Next to low power mode, move the slider to turn off the feature. Edit sleep focus. On iPhones with face ID, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen. On iPhones with a home button, swipe up from the middle bottom. Tap on sleep focus and select the three dots. Tap on settings and edit them. Turn off the continuity camera. Go to your iPhone settings. Go to general settings and tap on airplay and handoff. Turn off the continuity camera feature. Re-enable raise to wake feature. Open the settings app. Go to display and brightness settings. Turn off rise to wake. Wait for a few seconds and turn it back on. Turn off the CarPlay feature. Go to Settings and select General. Tap on CarPlay. Select the car and tap on Forget this car. Force Restart the iPhone. Press and quickly release the Volume Up button located on the left side of your iPhone. Press and quickly release the Volume Down button. Press and hold the side button. When the Apple logo appears, release the side button. Reset iOS to factory settings. Before resetting your iPhone, make sure to back up your data, as everything will be deleted. In the Device Settings app, go to General. Scroll to the bottom and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Select Erase All Content and Settings. Tap on Continue and follow the instructions on the screen. When the reset is finished, set up your device again and restore the backup. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The disk cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.